Okay, so in, in my last video, what I did was I got <coughs> Graham swept with the Kimura, and I got to this control position, so Graham lies down his feet toward the camera. There you go. So I swept him, however, I swept him, and I got to this control position. As I say, I'll link the videos to this one. That's how, how I get to this position quite a lot. I run my uh, hips up behind his head, and I sit in this position. Now, one of the nicest things that Graham can do for me is that he can try and drive up onto this elbow and turn toward me. Okay, See how this is already starting to create space? All right? He wants to turn toward me. So all I'm going to do is, as he turns toward me, is I'm just going to bring my knee up and my leg over the top and take him back down. I squeeze the knees in this direction and then I'm going to bring the arm out and I'm going to slowly turn it back in this direction. Okay? I'm getting the arm bar at this point. Okay, so one more time. I've managed to get to this controlling position. I've put his hand onto his belly. He wants to turn towards me, so he starts driving himself over. And he goes in underneath his rib cage. This one goes over the top. Turn it over onto your inverted card if you really want to. I'm going to kick this leg straight, squeeze my knees together, and I'm going to pull in this direction, and I'm going to turn everything over in that direction. I'm going to get the armbar. So, armbar is pretty easy to find. I, I don't use it very often. Um, I find if they're very explosive, just because you haven't got the foot across his belly, you aren't controlling the leg in kind of a spider web position. You can be stacked there and it can be a pretty painful stack from that position. Okay? But it's an option. 